everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I wanted to take a few minutes to show you my personal build on the AN Neo AM01, which is an AMD 57U, 5700U, sorry, with a Vega 8 GPU. It's a mini PC this time instead of a handheld, and I've been testing it for a few days and setting it up. I do have an Ubuntu image for it that I have released as well. I will do a video on that as well. It can be run from an external hard drive, a USB stick, whatever. It can also be written to a secondary hard drive, as this takes a 2.5 inch hard drive as well. So I've tested it with a lot of emulation and gaming, and I want to say around 2020 is about the PC gaming year for it. But in terms of doing things like Switch and whatnot, it actually runs very well. So I want to kind of show you guys a little bit about that. And first, I'll start off by showing you the Ares Windows build, which is uh, using Battlesera or FCA mod emulation station, but it's ported to Windows. So we're just going to jump right into it. Presenting the red. It can't. Speed of supervision. As you can see here, you can just load your PC games or Steam or whatever you want by putting the shortcut in the folder. You can get this build on our website, thetechtoytinker.com. It's under the Emulation Station Windows build. It's pre-contained in a zip, so you just extract it to wherever you want it, your hard drive, an external drive, whatever, and all the ROMs, BIOS, everything go inside of there. Machine has appeared in homes across America. Have you Introducing Artiboy, a game system. This is in 1986. When it comes to home computers, the Atari. Astro K. To IBM calls this a personal. One with all the fun. The Thanks, Sandy. So as you can see there, this chipset or hardware is capable of playing GameCube at 1080p, which is honestly a great improvement. I mean, or this particular game could just not work, you know. Just go back to this one.
You get the idea. I'm trying not to make the video too terribly long. In planet Earth. Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric on Earth. Mega Shock. Now testing. Stay here watching. Who gives you the secret of New Life? This is it came from the third. Now, I know some people are gonna be curious about Switch, and I feel like it's better if I just open the emulator and show you just that. It does launch perfectly fine through emulation station, but for the sake of the video. Now, the first thing I'm going to say about this, in all honesty, your best bet for running Yuzu is to have a modded Switch console. It allows you the ability to not only extract your console keys, which you need, but you also need the ability to dump your cartridges, which you can't really do without a modded Switch. So. That's kind of the, the go-to for this here. So as you can see, despite the odd bit of dips in FPS or whatever, down to the mid-50s, it doesn't actually make any difference in terms of the gameplay. You're still playing just fine, you don't notice any slowdown, there's no serious problems.
I should also point out my AS space settings. So to do that, it'll automatically be pre-installed by default when you get your thing, your uh, AM01. So I actually forced closed it, so I have to relaunch it. But uh, the point is you want to click the option at the bottom, which will just bring up like a little sub menu. So you bring up show assistant. As you can see, I chose to put it on 31 watt TDP. The reason why is because it seems to go over a couple of watts anyway. So 31 or 32 will keep it around the 35. If you put it all the way to 35, it'll jump up to 36, 37 sometimes. And I wanted to keep it under the 35 range. It doesn't make a massive performance difference. As long as you're over 30, you should be good to go. And with the fact that it's a mini PC and not a handheld, there's no reason not to push to the max wattage possible. I also wanted to show you guys ReDream. There's been an issue with low-level emulation that uh, surrounds AMD hardware, and over the last few days since I got the AM01, I've sat down and I've used the AM01 and the AIA2S as a testing bed and been going back and forth with the developer of ReDream, Inalin. I hope I pronounced that right. He's been sending me multiple different test files because whenever you tried to use low-level emulation here, on AMD hardware, it just wouldn't display to the screen. It would just output weird colors and nothing would happen. So we sat down and tested some stuff, and he sent me a bunch of files. And Eventually, he was able to get it working. So now we do have low-level emulation, which is more true to form or more accurate for the hardware. And it does work on all AMD devices. Also with that in mind, I did ask about 64-bit Linux support for ARM instead of just, you know, Raspberry Pi, and they are planning to release for Arch 64 Linux as well. So we will have support on ARM devices as well, not just Raspberry Pi. Also, you can play Atmos Wave on Redream if you get the files, or convert your own files either, to a Dreamcast format. You get the idea. Dirty pig skin! The All-Stars! So as you can see, no lag, nothing like that.
May as well do a PC game or two quick before we wrap up the video. Also, be warned, running a PC game will kick the fan into high gear. That's normal. It's using up all the resources it can, basically. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly, and... Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So... Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Almost there, honey. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. I don't want to make the video last forever, but Resident Evil Village and Cyberpunk, that's about as hard as you can push this. It's not going to go much past it. I tried Hogwarts Legacy. I got like 20 FPS. It's not unplayable, but it's not great either. So you probably want to just stop around 2020, maybe 2021, depending on the game. Games like Shenmue and Pinball FX and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, those will all work great. It's really just the, you know, after 2020 or 2021 PC games that don't work very well. 
But if you consider the fact you can buy this for 300 bucks, it's really not a bad deal at all. Normal! Welcome to the world of Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where the finest heroes assemble. Get ready for the fight of your life. Dragon, you've got the power. Shield Air Show. There can be only one winner. Let's go. Go for broke. Fight! First attack! Yes! You get the idea there. So as you can see, overall for the, the bang for the buck, I guess you would call it, you get a really good deal here. Everything works really well. I do have Linux available for it as well with Ubuntu, as I stated earlier in the video, and I will do a video for that in the next day or two. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up here. So as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.